taxpayer tea party of the day. All right. And it's remarkable as across America, these events are taking place everywhere from here to Utah to Hawaii to Alaska. The question is why? And I'll tell you why. Because Americans have reached the moment of realization that we're at the point in our history where the very core values and principles on which this nation are built are under attack like never before. That's right. Americans understand that. That's right. And we are at a crossroads, my friends. We're at a crossroads in a time in our history when we're going to decide as a people whether we will take the high road, the high road towards liberty and prosperity. Oh, and it's a tough road. It's a road that's been paved with the sacrifice of our ancestors, with those who have died on the battlefields of America and even Europe, a road that will deliver us to freedom and liberty. Or are we going to take the easy road, the low road, the low road towards the big government entitlement state of Barack Obama and John Corzine? The low road which make us rely on government, not on our families. The low road of socialism and a low the low road at the end of which we as a nation will be deposited on the ash heap of history. Yeah. Oh, no. The fence of our nation is up to us and it's going to be a tough battle, folks. We know that, but Americans have already stood to that challenge. You know, several months ago, across America, I saw crowds like this and they were chanting this slogan. They were chanting, yes, we can. Yes, we can. And a lot of well-meaning Americans who were chanting that slogan did not know what they were talking about. That's right. But they're learning today. Because when they said, yes, we can, what they were saying is, yes, we can take more of your liberty. Yes, we can take more of your money. Yes, we can replace your family with a government program. And they were saying, yes, we can consider the governor of the Bank of China's proposal to replace American currency with some other foreign currency. <laughs> and they were saying, yes, we can have our president get down on his knees and apologize to Europe for what America has done to this world. And what have we done? America has sacrificed themselves on the shores of Normandy Beast right, to Erich right. for the freedom and liberty of the whole world. That's, that's right. what we've done. Right. Folks, yeah, folks, now's the time that we have our own slogan. And it's a different slogan. It's not yes we can. Our slogan is yes we will. 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 We will stand, we will stand, and we will fight like the generations before us for freedom and for liberty. We will stand and we will fight against the forces of big government, of centralization, and as this gentleman has said, of the creeping socialism that is infesting this nation. From the White House, from the White House to New Jersey State House, it's time for us to make a change. And our response is, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Folks, we're sending a message today, ladies and gentlemen. We're sending a message to Washington. We're sending a message to Trenton. But I want you to join me today, you and I, as we send another message. No, let's write a letter. But this letter is to a future generation yet unborn. A generation that's relying on us as the generations before us have risen to the occasion to stand in defense of what America is about. Of those, those profound words, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, amongst them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And yes, we will stand in defense of that great commitment. And to that generation yet unborn, we want them to be as proud as us and what we're starting here today as we are proud of those who have come before us. That is our commitment. That's our commitment to history. And will we rise up to it? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. You know, folks, it's tough. It's a tough challenge. But everything in America has always been tough. It was tough over 230 years ago when George Washington, after being badly beaten at the Battle of Brooklyn Heights, 
and badly beaten at the Battle of Manhattan, retreated across the state of New Jersey. His ragtag army of undernourished, underfed, underarmed soldiers up against the most powerful army in the world, the British Army, as they hightailed it, retreated across New Jersey to hide out outside of Trenton, New Jersey in defeat. When Thomas Paine wrote those profound words, these are the times that try men's souls. Well, these are the times that try men's souls, and we will rise to the challenge once again. Any betting man or woman would never have bet on the colonists, on Washington's ability to muster that ragtag group of militiamen together. They have to retreating over to Pennsylvania on Christmas 1776. <laughs> Washington gathered those troops together and drawing an untold courage, they moved those troops in the middle of the night in some rickety boats across the ice-bound Delaware River in the ice and the rain against the most treacherous odds with their boats, they said, with six inches of ice water under a crypt. And through the middle of the night, they moved their armament and their men across New Jersey, eight miles to Trenton, where they were encamped, the British and Hessian troops, and they were well rested and they were ready for a fight. At 8 o'clock in the morning of that Christmas day, our American troops, our colonists, took on the most well-equipped army in the world. And in the most critical battle in the American Revolution, the hand-to-hand -hand combat that took place in this state, right here in Trenton, New Jersey, was the most, the, the most horrific of the entire revolution. And you know, there are accounts of the commanders, British commanders, who said they could see in the eyes of the Americans that they could never beat them. I can see your eyes in your eyes today that they're not going to beat us. On that day in 1776, right here in the state of New Jersey, the key battle on which turned the American Revolution turned place, the battle who would deliver freedom and prosperity to more people in the world has ever seen. It is only appropriate that the battle for the future of this nation come right back here to the state of New Jersey. Yeah, that's right. right here to us. Right. So let's send that letter today to those children, to our grandchildren that we have yet to we'll never meet, that yes, we will, and yes, we did, stand up for the United States of America. Thank you, God bless you, and remember, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Thank you.